without this government in exile, anything you do politically, anything you do politically, both in the South, South, and the South East, will meet a brick wall. And I'm telling you today that the brick wall is not ordinary brick wall, though. The brick wall will come with the water, water. So, guys, Samuel Epa, the self acclaimed leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has responded to the chief of defense staff in Nigeria, who made a broadcast recently stating that the Nigerian government must do everything humanly possible to get Samuel Ekpa arrested and repatriated back to the shores of Nigeria by virtue of most of his inciting comments that is generating violence in the nation of Nigeria. Take a look. I am standing giddy bam, giddy bam. As it stands today, Biafra government in exile and in homeland, the de facto government, of which I am the Prime Minister, is the only legitimate, legitimate government that speaks for the Biafra people. Without this government in exile, anything you do politically, anything you do politically, both in the South, South, and the South East, will meet a brick wall. And I'm telling you today that the brick wall is not ordinary brick wall, though. the brick wall will come with water, water. The more you go ahead in building in this false foundation, the more you provoke people of Biafra, the more you provoke us to do things that will shock the world. You see, today, we are well armed. And this is not the time when you come to our land and do anyhow and go for Someone Epa is in Finland. The Finnish government are giving him all the support and he's doing what he's doing. The comments he's making, people are being killed and nothing is being done. And this is democracy. If the European Union is the one supporting democracy and this is happening and they are not taking action, then they don't mean well for Nigeria. We have said that in clear terms. We need to diplomatically find means of getting him out of whatever it is that he's doing. He must be arrested, he must be prosecuted. Look at it from the other way. Assuming he is in Nigeria and he's doing that to the Finnish government, you think the European Union will allow that to happen? They definitely will not. I am calling on Finland governments and Finland embassy in Nigeria to provide someone else. supporter of IPOP and ESL can be killing our military and our police. It's a lie. We want peace across, across the country, which is a new open agenda. We want prosperity, we want increase, and we want transformation across our nation. So, Samuel Ekba, I am calling on the Finland president, the Finland embassy in Nigeria, to return back some money back to Nigeria, because this is where he come from. Any other document he has, a fake document, return some money back. Return him. So why are they allowing him to do what he's doing? Look at our viewers. This is satellite media. Let us uh, look at uh, what is coming from Samanepa. Samanepa seems to be talking tough. I tell that is secret to the statement that came from Nigerian Chief of Defense Staff. Yes. Uh, accusing Finland of sharing Epa. Yes. That Samanepa needs to be brought back to Nigeria to face prosecution. Surprisingly, we have seen another man, a uh, pastor, joining the call that Samanepa should be brought back to Nigeria to face prosecution. Mr. Chido, I'm sorry, Mr. Ravumichi, let us get your reaction with all this. And, you know, because I person not to be perturbed. Because recently he even challenged the chief of defense staff to yeah. come and challenge him in Finland. Yeah, yes, that's good. Uh, the guy is not seems to be you know perturbed, he's unperturbed. And I'm conversant with uh, uh, Colonel Musa's you know uh, stand as uh, chief of defense staff. See, uh, what uh, Colonel Musa does not know is that Samuel Epa himself is a military man, too. And if you observe that job, it is like a cult. They are more or less into brotherhood. A military man in Finland 
The same with the military man in Nigeria, the same with the military man in America. You've seen it for yourself. Now, there are some things we've been talking about these actions of the Nigerian government and the military. Like I said in the other video I shot some time ago, I said that the truth is that the issues of hunger, illiteracy, and poverty is not something that the Nigerian government has to fight with arms because it's not an issue of arms. This is an issue of diplomacy. As it is an offshoot of the frustrations of Nigeria who are lamenting bitterly about the most of the policies that the Nigerian government has brought that has brought about frustration to them. And the onus is laid on the Nigerian government to bring about policies that will be people oriented, to go ahead to ensure they win back the trust of the people. For goodness sake, if a group of people say they are not interested in being a part of the nation by virtue of the fact that they feel disenfranchised, they still feel sidelined, they feel like the government is not carrying them along, the best thing that the government should do, just like Yeradua did some time ago, is to bring those people back and sit them down, ask them these questions. What exactly is the problem? How can we solve this problem? Them. not making it look like it's an issue of war not making it look like you're making them to swallow their pain the best thing that the Nigerian government is, needs to do is to ensure they bring about the leaders of the Igbo extraction who feel disgruntled from the policies of the Nigerian nation and ensure that they ameliorate the issues and solve the problems once and for all. Because the truth is that regardless of how much you force them to be silent, this is a perception issue. They will only be waiting for the perfect opportunity for them to react and vent their frustrations because obviously it will only be a move to postpone the evil day please i'd like you to go to the comment section and drop your thoughts let's get to know what you think about the actions of the nigerian government and the response of simon ekpa to the nigerian military and we shall continually be here to serve you